Welcome back, my friends, to Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is episode 18. Thank you for being here with me on this beautiful bohemian day. Uh, last we left off, we were about to head up the road to Ushitz. We're going to find our boy Ginger, who we've been tracking for so long, it feels like, and finally get to the bottom of this uh, massacre at the stud farm, or at least that is my hope for today. I think I'm going to go up around this way, because I haven't been over here yet. And uh, we'll be on our way. Ooh. Hope you guys are having a nice day today. Uh, there's another conciliation cross. Let me remind myself what those are for. Merely stones of the cross engraved and the surface were erected in places where tragic events or important historical events in the life of the community where that country had occurred. Closely linked to criminal law, a symbol of admission of guilt, and a plea for forgiveness. Conciliation Cross embodied repentance by the perpetrator of a crime built at the culprit's expense. Gotcha. Why don't we go ahead, just since we're here, because um, I have read that Codex entry before. I read it on camera even, I remember. Um, let's read it. Martin Lupak. So it's just, it's almost like a grave marker in this sense, maybe. Um, or at the very least, this one doesn't say a whole lot about what was here, or who Martin is, or why the Conciliation Cross is standing there. Wait, we can fill that out with our own imagination. Um, I like to think that Martin was a local baker um, and a, uh, a schoolboy mixed in um, his pig's uh, fertilizer into the uh, brownie mix um, as a prank, as a practical joke, uh, thinking that he was going to get one over on the whole town. Um, and then what happened was uh, everyone ended up liking the, the poop brownies so much that um, uh, Martin became like a, an egomaniac and uh, lost touch with reality. Not an egomaniac, sorry. Um, he had a, uh, a, a mental break after his um, products became so popular that uh, the demand for them far exceeded his ability to keep up and the stress drove him into an early grave. So that conciliation cross was erected by the young hoodlum um, who drove him uh, to that. That was a really dark story. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Um, anyway, look at this beautiful patch of foliage. It is really, really pretty. All right, well, um, we were talking in the last episode. Is that a horse? It's an elk. Um, we don't have a permit or anything to be hunting. So, uh, I think I'm gonna let him be for now. I guess I should just go on through, right? Um, we were talking in the last episode about how I sometimes prefer, um, or usually prefer, when... Uh-oh. Is that a bandit? Or is that just a hunter? Why was he getting all mad at me? Um, oh, I think this is the, uh, the trail that we're supposed to be following over to Ginger. I really like it when quests don't lead you right to where you're supposed to be going, or when they don't, uh, give you a marker that shows you exactly where to go, um, and rely on you to either follow some directions given to you by an NPC, or just kind of navigate using your own wits and wiles. Um, that's a little bit more fun for me. Unfortunately, this does not look like that type of quest. Maybe in this case, they just wanted to make sure that we found our boy Ginger. It is a little strange to me that they would have some... I, I mean, I'm basically repeating what I said in the last episode, but it's still on my mind. Um, I wonder why... Ooh, this looks like a really nice place to camp out. To hide out from some people looking for you. Um, Ginger, you've got yourself a quaint little property here. Anyway, I wonder why they would do that for some quests and not for other ones. Um, be interesting to hear their reasoning for that. Hey, what's up, baby? You're finally coming to justice, or at the Jesus, very least, let's figure out. Let me a merry dance. Yeah, no kidding. What do you want from me? I want, I want to know what the fuck happened, man. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. <laughs> All right, why did you run, Ginger? I'm going to start going through these in order, because that seems to be what the developers assume I'm going to do. Why did you run off in such a hurry? Because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. Ginger, you're freaking me out a little bit with your mannerisms. Where are I'm your cronies? For your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... No, the bandits. The hell with the charcoal burners? Where are your bandit yeah, mates? Yeah, I don't think Ginger is actually friends they're with these guys. They're not my mates. Yep. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognize? Who was it? Talk! I... D 
don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. Ah. Tell me about this limping man. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. All right. So why did you kill that bandit? Because he did attack him with the, the horse pick, right? Why did you kill that bandit? The hoof pick. What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. So how did that this guy end up yours, with the hoof pick? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits, and he has a limp. So the man with the limp, limp killed one of the Ujits. bandits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. That seems to tie in well to the internal struggle to that they mentioned. Um, there, if you guys remember, there was some sort of infighting happening with the bandits that attacked the stud farm. Tell me everything that happened. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. I got time, Ginger. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. Then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yeah, then you heard all the slaughtering. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. And, uh, it was terrible. Like hell itself. And then... It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No. 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 He ran right into oh, me. Oh, I got you. He was you. running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside, and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. And what about the others? So it seems to me, this is my strongest guess um, at this point, and we might even find out some more from these questions that I see in front of me. Um, maybe... Somehow these individuals from Ushits, including this limping man, um, were working with the bandits that we know, like the guy who fucked us up at uh, Scarlet's Runt. Um, seems like somehow they uh, were working together, or maybe the people from Ushits provided some sort of service to the uh, to Runt and his crew. Um, but I don't know if the people from Ushits assumed that Runt and his bandits were going to so brutally slaughter everyone, so maybe when it kind of came out that that's what they were there to do, which I still don't know why. We still don't know why that was something they wanted to go there and do. I think maybe the people from Ushits, including this man with the limp, um, kind of got cold feet and wanted nothing to do with it and attempted to leave, is kind of what it sounds like to me. What about the what others? What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them, and two of them were really big. That's all I can okay, remember. So at least one of them is runt. I don't know about the second one, though. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and yeah. wanted no part in the killing. Makes sense. I know how you feel. Um, uh, I don't know. Let's just go through this dialogue option and see what sort of empathy our man Henry is offering. That sounds terrible. It does sound terrible. How you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... You would have gotten yourself killed, man. If you had, you'd most likely be dead. Yes. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still. Hey, listen to your own advice too, There's Henry, if you're ever feeling guilty. Oh, what a sweetheart, Henry. I'm That's back. All. all right. Well, I know enough. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? How? Uh, what do you need? Perhaps I could. What would you like? 
I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. <laughs> That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. Dude, just tell them the truth. I can go and ask them. Um, I said, yeah, just go there and see what happens. It's not like me go... Well, because I do know what's going on. Um... And it seemed like the the stable boy, the one that we spoke with, was uh, at least friends with Ginger. Um, I say just go there and see what happens, but the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm lazy and I don't want to go ask them myself. Uh, this man shook up. Why don't we offer to go and ask them on his behalf? I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. Have to ask at Neuhoff Stud Farm if Ginger can go back. Well, all right. Like it's a little bit more effort on our part, but uh, I don't know. Something, uh, something in me is feeling a little bit soft towards our boy Ginger because I can only imagine that truly was hell on earth. And after everything that Henry's been through, if we're role playing as Henry, I like to think that he would be a little bit sympathetic to Ginger's plight as well. God, I just can't get over how fucking beautiful this is. Reminds me of the sort of place that you'd find when exploring as a kid. If you guys were um, lucky enough to have a place to do that, I certainly was. It was one of my favorite things to do, was go with my friends in the hills and hike around and see what we could find. And there's always something special about finding a little spot that felt so secluded, like a little clubhouse almost. Um, this place kind of reminds me of that. Anyway, um, why don't we, since we're here, um, go back to the stud farm. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, our quest is leading us up towards Ujits. Um, and it doesn't really... Uh, I don't have that marked, and it seems like the... Uh, Dass and Neuhoff Stud Farm. Tell Captain Bernard. All right, well, perfect. It's sending us back that way. we got to check in with Captain Bernard before we uh, go to Ujits anyway. Um, which makes sense to me. we got to relay all this information that we found. We've done, uh, you know, good work here. Um, I'm hoping that Captain Bernard will be proud of what we've done. Um, in any case, why don't we go ahead and fast travel on back. Let us see here. Fast travel point, Neuhoff. I would like to fast travel to that location, please. Accept. Take a nice chug of water here, if you guys don't mind. Mm. Not a whole lot happening on the roads. Um, someone did tell me about a mod that adds more kind of random events to uh, the roads while you're fast traveling. Um, I haven't installed it yet just because I haven't really done that much fast traveling. So I don't know if that's something I would enjoy or if I feel like it would enhance the experience at all. Uh, maybe in some time, if I feel like that would be a good addition, I can install something like that. All right back oh man it almost feels like the uh it's been quite quite an amount of time since we were back here like a whole era has passed not quite so dramatically but uh it does feel like a uh, very different coming back i wonder what's changed since we were here um what was my horse whistle button b no it was x there it is all right pebbles where you at oh here you are my love nice to see you there we are. It seems like that animation worked fine. It's almost like when I'm coming from the other side, um, that's when it gets a little bit weird. Am I trotting or am I... Oh, there we go. Hopefully they've cleaned up the bodies and such since I've been here. Looks like uh, the captain and his mates, the captain and his soldiers are still... Ugh, there's those texture problems again. Um, we're still camped out here. Oh, holy shit, it's our, uh, our liege lord. Is that the right term? I don't know. What's up, man? Sir Radzig. God bless you. What troubles you? I have another lead to the bandits. My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole yes, story sir. or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. All right, I'll be brief then. The whole story. Um, well, I don't know. I'll do the whole story just because I think that Henry does have a strong 
you know, kind of grasp on which parts would matter. One of the Neuhof stable boys. And that would be included in quote unquote the whole story. From there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true. Yeah, that okay. That part is not important, Henry. Yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognized one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarreled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All Ujits, I know is baby. one of them from Ujits. Yeah. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. I'm a sneeze. So drop everything and get on his track. <coughs> oh, excuse find me. Find what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment at Malhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. What? What? I was going to go and tell Damn. Captain Bernard what I found out. Well, shit. Okay. Well, hold on a second. What about load game? I would actually... Ah, oh, fuck me. Mysterious ways quest started. Oh, that's where I just ginger found. Um, shit, man. Well, I don't want to, like, go over Captain Bernard's head. Um, I'm actually going to load that back, if you guys don't mind. Um, I would like to maybe do it in the proper order. Just because I, I... You know, it's like I can tell both people, but since Captain Bernard's the one who kind of sent me on this task, like I said, I don't want to circumvent him. Um, did I already speak with Ginger? I did. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's go. Let's do our fast travel again. No sweat. Uh, right on back. And uh, how about here? I'll cut this and then uh, I'll be right back and we'll find Captain Bernard. How about that? Okay, I reloaded the game and, uh, you know, went over, fast traveled back, and now we're going to talk to Captain Bernard instead so we don't uh, go over his head oh, straight to uh, Radzig. God be with you, my friend. I know who attacked Neuhoff. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it, then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. Oh, man. So who did he recognize? Wait a second. He didn't know his name. Some fellow How do you know that? From Ujits. All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. All right, thank you very much, Captain Bernard. Well, while we're here, um, maybe we can get some training from you. Defense, right? Can you teach me how to defend myself better in combat? Certainly. And maybe now I have some gold, right? Beginner? I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Um, how about this? Uh... Let's go maybe another, maybe time. another time. I thought I already know the basics, right? I want to get some advanced stuff here because we uh, we do have. Can you teach me how to defend myself um, better? Level combat? five, I believe Certainly. that is a threshold we meet. Let's see here. Slightly advanced requires level five. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Um, fuck, 180, huh? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to haggle them down. Um, that's okay. What if? Okay. Why don't we... Because if we're paying for it, there's no way that he's going to show us stuff that we've already seen before, right? So Can maybe the basic training is going to, you know, yield us that counterattack that we were talking about earlier. Um, let's try the I'd beginner. Like let's just pay for it and let's see what we get for it. All right. I'm going to be real upset <laughs> if uh, it's, he teaches us stuff that we already knew. Now, pay close attention. I improved defense. Is that just... It just ups my level? He's not actually teaching us any new techniques. It sounds like, uh, I guess, like maybe this quest will have to resolve before we can actually learn um, new stuff from him, right? Like maybe he has to be back outside the training yard in um, uh, Retai. Couldn't remember the name. Immediately, manly odor, yada, yada, yada. Let's see what kind of perks we can get. Um, Savage, what's this? In the wilds, you have plus one bonus strength, agility, vitality, and speech. Can't be combined with burger. Bandages 25% more effective. You can also apply your healing skill in dialogue. Ooh, that one's cool. I like being able to do that stuff in dialogues. Um, burger. Oh, like I could have with the uh, stable boy who had that wound. Um, I wonder how that would have changed things. Let's see. In towns and villages, their immediate vicinity, you have a plus one bonus on strength, agility, vitality, and speech. 
Um, I like that because I feel like a uh, speech. I like speech stuff. I like um, kind of a uh, finding alternative means of competing, uh, completing, excuse me, uh, quests with speech options and kind of, um, you know, alternative uh, ways of solving stuff like that. I feel like you're often tied to speech. So that would be pretty cool. And I feel like that's more useful in towns and stuff because that's where you'll be speaking to people most. At least I would assume. Penalties on stats following release from jail are 20% lower. I definitely don't mind that one. Increases the time you can do without sleep. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly. That's pretty cool too. Um, Savage. I think bandages. I'm going to go with first aid to... Um, just because, like I said, that's a big survivalism one. Um, and it'll unlock those other dialogue options, hopefully. And I do like that, as I said. Combat. Got some stuff with sword here. Um, so it's left, down, and then stab. I need a long sword, um, which I don't know. It should show me how each weapon is characterized on the info screen, I would imagine. Rhythm slash stab stab. By means of rapid attacks, put the opponent on the defensive and feint a stab, but instead of carrying it through, execute a middle howl around the opponent's blade straight to the face. That is brutal. Okay, so that's a pretty complex combo, and I can't really use it with long swords. Um, I'm going to hold on to this perk point for now, just because I don't really know uh, which weapon types I, I am super about yet at this point. Um, get rid of the main level. Have any other perks? I got that agility one, but I'm still waiting uh, for more perks to open up before I use that. I think we're good for now. Oh, and also, do, if I have agility five. That I do want to check. Agility six. Okay. Well, at the very least, we can go to our horse now. You open up our horse's inventory. Um, and now I should be able to use uh, the knight's hunting sword. It does have a shitty condition, though. What about mine? Inventory. Weapons. Uh, mercenaries. Bedfellow. Condition 58. Uh, 45, 45, 2. And at the horse, what do we got? We got 40, 40, 10. I'm fine for now. I mean, maybe we'll get this repaired later. Um, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, the Bardiche, I still don't have enough strength to use. Uh, maybe somewhere down the line. I don't know. Nothing really super pressing at the moment, though. Um, while we're here, before we talk to Sir Radzik... Oh, this will give us a good opportunity to check and see how the dialogue would be different if I chose the other option to uh, keep things succinct. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Anyway, let's talk with Zora. Would you take Ginger back in? I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Well, I don't Why think so. Else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not That's what not happened, true. I'm sorry. <laughs> the little the fucking man waggle. Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. But why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now we're supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? That actually is a, a good point. Who were after him well, that is true, too. Of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. Um, I'm sorry to bring him bad news. Everything is taken care of. Let's come to an agreement. Um, what does he mean everything is taken care of? Okay, because I don't want to dictate to her what to do, especially not with everything she's been through. Like, you know, I'm trying to help out Ginger, but like, Jesus, this whole thing has been very harrowing for everyone. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sir Hamish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. I definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. I think arranged. that's fair. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. I don't know if I am as sure as Let you are, Henry. Back again. All right, Zora. Thank you for that, by the way. Um, I really do appreciate it. And now, our man. I mean, I guess the uh, the Captain Bernard conversation was a lot more of a formality than I... Bad? Felt I it was going to be, but hey, whatever. I'm glad that we didn't go over his head. I have I another lead to the bandits. I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Yes, the sir. The whole story or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. All right, well, in brief then. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life. And for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? 
That I don't know. I wouldn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujits, I'll ask around. Someone will know something <laughs> about him. Such All confidence, right. Henry. Better go to Ujits then. Find this limping foot pad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. That's I all different dialogue. Back. Then bring him to me in Mehoyed and I'll decide on his face. That's like 100% all different dialogue for both of those options. And to something that really doesn't even affect anything, um, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm impressed that they'd go through the trouble. Why choose Mehoyed? It's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. They There's might not be going for silver. Two, some food and so on. Yeah, it's anyway, also not what they're after. It's a good point. Slaughtering those horses. True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? That, I don't know. Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot. Staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. Jesus. I, I hadn't even really thought it through that far. I was thinking a little bit more pragmatically. Like maybe they have some sort of attack planned, um... Uh, that would uh, leave them vulnerable to, like, cavalry, so they wanted to take out horses and stuff. But, I mean, Sir Raditz, it's Raditz, Raditz, Raditz's reason? That's hard to say. Um, that sounds pretty plausible to me as well. I can see the benefit of sowing kind of fear and discord in your enemies. Do I have news about the investigation, Henry, that he doesn't already know? Um, I'm going to say no. Just uh, for, you know, role play's sake. All right, well, we know what we got to do now. Um, it's off to Ujits. Where is Ujits? I've not been able to figure that out this entire time. Okay, so it's up north right here. It'd be nice to visit our, our place in Tomberg. I also saw that, uh, wow, that's interesting. It's kind of cool, the transition between the two. Um, I saw that Zora uh, was willing to trade with me. So while we're here, it would be nice to offload some of this stuff. Um, I'd like to buy a horse. Let's talk trade, Zora. How much gold do you have? Trader's wealth, 400. My reputation. What kind of stuff do you got? Spurs, huh? Significantly improve horse control. That's pretty cool. Uh, these are the, uh, a little different. Oh my god, one of them is... Mu oh, geez, the price differential for these things is uh, pretty significant. I don't really have that much gold. Uh, wow, look at that. You can even buy uh, fucking like clothing and stuff for the horse. The caparison is an ornamental cape for a horse, which brings the owner distinction and admiration and flaunts his social status. Imagine the embarrassment of two knights turned up at a tournament with the horses with horses dressed in the same caparison. Scandal. I like whoever's writing this flavor text. It's pretty cute. Um, is she willing to buy stuff from me? Seems like she might be. Um, I don't want to sell my dried meat. It's pretty useful. All right, well, shit. Why don't we go ahead and... Uh, can I sell directly from my horse's inventory? That would be a really nice quality of life thing. Um, I could see how they wouldn't allow that, um, but it would be cool if that was in there. Armor. All right, well, I don't really have anything on me. All right, um, pebbles. Please, over yonder. Where you at, my love? There you go. Oh, there you are. Hello. Please, may I have my stuff? Can I get this bardish? I'm going to hold on to the hunting bow and the knight's hunting sword, um, but I'm going to sell this stuff for show. Move this inventory, burger sword, hold on to that. Um, we got armor. I don't know why these are gray, like that. Um, hunter's gloves, hunter's gloves. Skelet's waffen rock, silver ring, two of them. Skull cab, working boots. Um, the uh, I don't think anyone's going to want that. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to drop it. Um, save your schnapps, boar hide. This I don't need and that I don't need. Let's go ahead and see what she is willing to buy off of me, or what she can buy off of me. It probably won't be anywhere Henry, close to... I'm glad you came. Oh, they like me now, Henry. They called me by name. Let's talk trade, baby. Give me that, uh, let's see, sell. You go know, weapons, I get this Bardiche. Um, look, you guys can help defend yourselves now, right? I get 20, I have Burger's sword. Um, am I pronouncing that right? I do not know. Let's see, armor, hunter's gloves. Get that shit out of here, and you? 
and the Waffen Rock and a Silver Ring, both of them. Uh, I wonder if I could use those for like crafting or something. Who knows? Too late now. Working boots. Get that shit out of here. And was the food? Um, I, I will sell that. Freshness zero percent. Uh, is she willing to buy that off of me? It's like who even? I guess they could use it for like slop or something. I don't really know how uh how things work with like horses and pigs and shit. If they can eat things that would you know make us sick. Uh, I don't really know a lot about livestock rearing in general. I guess that's not surprising since I've never really had a reason to, but. You never know what people will know or what will strike their fancy. Have played a lot of farming sims. A boar hide. Communion chalice. Um, and I think that's good for now, right? I get 402. Wow, I'm going to clean her out. And then I'm also going to give her a nice little bonus and just make it like an even 400. Um, let's go buy a basket. Um, she really doesn't have anything I want. Like the, the spurs, I'll call that a future purchase. It would be nice to have, but it's definitely not essential. I'd rather have the gold. Um, so let's haggle. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. All right, Zora. Um, right. Whoa, I'm confused. Yeah, 400. So that means that it'll automatically include a tip, I believe, right? I believe that is how it works. Let's make the offer. Oh, well, that's a decent price. Okay. Uh, I guess that's just how it goes. And maybe her, is her reputation, uh, my reputation with her increased? I don't know. Because I didn't check to see what it was before. Oh well. Um, I don't know if that worked, but uh, maybe I should have just said like, just you know, sold out the uh, the purchase and without haggling, and then it would automatically recognize that I was uh, giving her a tip. I feel like it did that one time. Um, I'll make sure to check with other transactions. I'm sure that there will be plenty more in the future. Hi, puppy. Um, anyway, it's about that time. Let's see. In the next episode, um, where are we at? We are here in Neuhof. And we got to make our way up to Ushitz. Um, shit, maybe we'll even start from Talmberg. Maybe I'll fast travel there um, in between the next episode and this one. We can see how things are going at Talmberg before we walk over to Ushitz. That would be fun. In any case, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for being here with me today, as always. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>